Hello, hello, hello. Official school time is 3.59. I'm making myself available. And live for anyone who is here to ask questions. And be a part of this online conversation about school starting. This is our first official town hall meeting. I'm going to get Mr. Danzo on the phone. How are you doing, Ms. Presley? Hey, Mr. Danzo, we're live. Um, once again, I can't see the chat, so if you can help me with filtering questions. Most definitely. I'm going to wait for a few moments. I know that there were some discrepancies with the time. That was a mix-up on my end, so I apologize. So I'm, I'll avail myself from this point until about 5.30. Um, to answer all parent questions and just kind of give out some generic information that will also be emailed within the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, so, Mr. Danzo, as soon as you start seeing questions, um, I'm open to answering. Um, I see three or four people online. Not sure if you can see who, who who's online and who's not. I'm checking right now. Okay. I'm only available to see my friends. I know we have Miss Bussy watching right now. Okay, so I have seven parents or faculty members on. I'm not sure. But, we have our parent, uh, we have our parent liaison, Miss Jackson. Awesome, awesome. Hey Jackson. Hey Bussy. Just gonna kind of give people a few minutes to to jump online if they want. And uh, like I said, I know that. In Dojo, it said 4.30, so there was some discrepancies. So, again, I'm going to avail myself um, for at least, I blocked off about an hour and a half. Um, hey, Jackson, I see your message. About an hour and a half to, to answer questions and be available. Um, we have fourth grade Ms. Davis now joining us. We have hey, our instructional coach, Ms. Ward, joining us. Hey, Ward. Staff, I appreciate you for being on here. I know you all have questions as well, and many of your questions will probably be answered in the days that are soon to come. Um, so there was, um, hey, Davis, there's, uh, there was a discrepancy with the time that was advertised on the flyer versus what was on Dojo. And so um, I'm going to start answering questions and kind of, shooting out some information in just a moment. Um, and I know I'll probably have to repeat this again around the 4.30 time frame, Mr. Danzo, so you'll have to help me. Not a problem. Um, stay there. Um, Ms. Jackson, can you give me a yes or no um, whether or not you can hear Mr. Danzo clearly? Because I want parents to be able to hear the questions as well. Hey, Miss Webb. Hey, Mr. Pritchett. I see names coming up. Hey, Miss Davis. Miss uh, Danzo, can you do a test to make sure that parents can hear you asking questions? I was able to hear myself on the feed, so we're good. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and get started. And once again, forgive me if I... Um, start to repeat myself. I know that once again, there was a discrepancy with what was on the flyer versus what was in Dojo, which is absolutely no problem. I will avail myself until about 5.30 this evening to answer all questions um, that you may have. I'll filter as many as I can. Much of the information that I'm sharing with you will actually be emailed out to parents within the, 20, the next 24 to 48 hours, but I did want to have this meeting first or this opportunity first in case there's any information that I've omitted from your packet that I can add um, so that you'll have that information in writing. So before we get started, and this is a place for you all to just start throwing in questions as you have them. Um, just throw questions in the chat and Mr. Danzo is going to filter those questions so that I can make sure that I answer as many questions as you have. Um, and so while we're waiting for people to come in, um, I sent out a survey maybe about a month, I think, ago about um, some glows and grows and some of your 
biggest concerns as we begin the next school year. And so many of those results um, have kind of guided our work as we go into this virtual setting again. One of the main things that came out of it, um, everyone was very complimentary of how well you did with jumping right into virtual learning. So for that, I want to say thank you for your compliment compliments, and we're going to take that and make it better. Um, the second thing that was a major glow for us is um, <clears throat> the multiple platforms. Parents had a hard time understanding each platform, and I know Verge was a huge um, issue for many of our families, not just at Oakview, but across the district. Um, and so we found a way to kind of um, provide you all with some support where Verge is concerned. Um, and another, the, the second biggest issue that came out of our area of growth was our children having Chromebooks. And so um, hopefully you all received the email or link on Dojo um, on how to go ahead and start reserving Chromebooks. And so we do at this current time have enough Chromebooks to um, serve our entire school building that I'm glad to say. And so we are starting to prepare the work on getting those ready for a mass deployment um, so that all of our students will be ready by the first day of school. Um, Ms. Prince, we have our first question and when you're ready. Oh, okay, give me one second. Yes, um, by the first day of school. And so in your parent packet, you will have logistical information on um, the days and times for Chromebook pickup. You'll have information for what our first day of school will look like. Um, and so all of that, again, will be coming out in the email in 24 to 48 hours. All right, I'm ready. Danzo, let's go. Our first question is from Ashley Webb. She asks, when will we receive notice about our kids' teachers, and will there be a virtual meet and greet? Absolutely. So um, kids' homeroom teachers will be um, distributed when you come to pick up your Chromebook and all of your supplemental materials. The students um, that don't need Chromebooks will still need to come to the school because we're giving out workbooks, and we've got a small little kit for the students um, of paper and pencils. Um, to help just get your school year started. And so at that time, we'll have information for who your child's teacher is. In addition, teachers will be reaching out next week when we start school to welcome you to their classes. So that'll be another way for you to also find out who your child's teacher is. All right, thank you for that answer. We're still waiting on more questions. While we're waiting for more questions, um, I think I saw her. She said something about a meet and greet. Um, we are have we're still having our open house. And so there'll be a virtual open house. Um, and forgive me, I don't have the date in front of me, but we'll publish that information. But we will have a school wide open house. And I believe it's next Wednesday. But that is also in your parent information pack that you'll receive via email. Another major question that has come out of our class dojo um, time is about registration. And so registration is now live on our school website. If you are new to Oakview, which probably no one on this call is, but if you're new to Oakview, you will have to go to online registration. Or if you have multiple children in our building and one of your children will be new to Oakview, you will need to go into um the online registration portal for the district and complete their information. If you can access Oakview's website and click on the registration link, all of the information will be there for you. Um, when you come to pick up Chromebooks, during that time, we will, you can also bring proof of residency. And if you have affidavits that need to be completed, you can complete it during the time of, um, of a Chromebook deployment as well. Uh, we have another question from Shanti K. Hart. Yes. What was the title of the link to sign up for the Chromebook? Um, if she is in Class Dojo, if you look in your private Class Dojo message, I don't remember what the title of the message was, Mom. I think in email it was um, Chromebook Deployments, but don't get me, or Chromebook Registration, don't get me, uh, don't quote me. Um, that's the email. If you, um, 
are in class dojo i sent a private message so check your private messages right above the message with my picture for today's meeting you'll see a link for the chromebook reservation but that's that's really for us to just kind of get a head count of how many students we're preparing for for registration, all students will need to go back through just providing information. And let me explain why. Um, for us, we, we got a lot of return mail back this summer. There were some of our students who had extenuating circumstances throughout um, the March through May virtual time. And we were sending packets to those students via the mail. And we were getting a lot of um, a lot of return mail. And so it is going to be completely imperative that as parents, you all are as connected as possible. We are we have to have the right, the correct email address and the correct phone number. That is the absolute only way that you all will be able to stay connected. Class Dojo, emails and phone numbers. And even if you're connected on Class Dojo, we still need your emails for situations like this where we were trying to send out a flyer or like I'm going to send out the parent welcome pack. Well, I can't do that. Um, the way Dojo is set up is going to be really difficult and it may be a little confusing to send it to you individually. But if I can get everybody to have accurate emails, that'll be another way for us to make sure that we're communicating effectively. So I would rather you have too much information than not enough information. So if you could make sure that during registration, you ensure that your phone number and your email address is updated. That is the most important for us. And if you're on an affidavit, then we'll make sure that you get what you need to update your address. Ms. Presley, I'd like to say um, we're using collective efficacy. Stephanie Thurman has posted the link for the Chromebook deployment um, awesome. in our chat. Tell her thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Mom. We're still waiting more questions. Okay. So while we're make, waiting on more questions, um, school supplies, I did get a question about school supplies. That'll also be in the parent pack. But some of our generic school supplies that I would suggest that parents get, and, and much of everything I'm getting ready to tell you is at the dollar store. Um, but uh, student headphones, especially for those of you that have multiple children in the home, you may want to get headphones, especially for when we have live sessions, and every teacher will be required to have live so sessions. So you may consider are getting headphones, durable headphones for your student. Paper and pencil. Um, they have dry erase boards and markers at the Dollar Tree. Um, so all of those items you could go to the dollar store and just kind of gather to have readily available for your student uh, for less than $10. Um, additionally, you may want to make sure, I'm not really sure what kind of space you may have in your home, but make sure that you have a quiet space for your child to work uninterrupted and whatever they need in that space. Um, so for some of our students, you may need quite a bit more paper than what I'm willing to provide or what I'm able to financially provide for all of our students. So make sure that you have more than enough for them to go back and get. Um, um, so that's school supplies. Um, as far as platforms, many of you, uh, once again, we're talking about Verge. So Verge will be um, a place for us that is required. Verge is required by the district. Um, so we will have a starting place in Verge, um, but we will also, uh, all of our students have to go through Clever or the lunch pad, if you've heard your ch children talk about it, but all of them have to go through um, that place to get to where we are, regardless of which virtual learning um, avenue we're using or which platform we're using. So everything that's posted in Verge will also be posted on our on each teacher's clever page. In addition, um, it is going to be very important that if you can go ahead and start looking at Microsoft Teams, that'll be the way that we have our live sessions with all of our students. And so Verge, um, Clever is what's the launch pad where they go as soon as they log into the computers. And then um, Microsoft Teams will still use Imagine Learning as our um, 
tier two or our intervention and individualized support for our students and for tier one instruction to supplement what teachers are doing across the board, we'll be using USA test prep. So that is it. That's all we're using school-wide. Um, anything additional teachers um, may supplement on their own, but as a school-wide effort, those are the programs we're using. Oh, in addition, we're using really great reading as our phonics program. Um, and the only thing children will have to log in for for that will be um, to be able to use some of the um, virtual manipulatives, the build words and things like that. But as far as school-wide, we'll be on Verge as a starting place, but that same information will be in the Clever Lunchpad where the students will start every morning regardless. And we will be in Microsoft Teams, Imagine Learning for Supportive instru Instruction and really great reading for phonics. Ms. Prince, we have two more questions. Okay. First question coming from Ashley Webb. Okay. Is the virtual um, virtual learning, will that be the only option for all year or has the decision been made only for the first semester? So for DeKalb, we are only virtual at this time for the first nine weeks of school. Um, our current district leadership has not shared um, which way we will go after that nine weeks, but as soon as that conversation begins, which I'm sure they'll start it, um, once everyone gets acclimated and started in the school year, we'll start looking, um, depending on what the COVID cases look like, discussing what the second nine weeks will look like. But at this point, we're only in the first nine weeks in DeKalb. The next question, Ms. Presley, is coming from Akila Turner. How long will the live sessions be? And will they be recorded for those parents that have to go back to review after work hours? Absolutely. So live sessions, parent, uh, teachers are required to do um, 10 to 15 minutes of a live session. And yes, those will be recorded and um, library or cataloged for you to be able to go back um, for students to use um, to support them and even for parents to go back and review. Absolutely. Next question from Kenyatta Baker. How do I transfer my child to another school? We're in a different district, but still in DeKalb County. Okay. So uh, once again, if you go to the registration site, there is a link there with directions for how to transfer from school to school within DeKalb. So fill out that document. Ms. Brown, our school registrar, returns um, back tomorrow. And so when she returns tomorrow, she will begin um, filtering through all of our registration requests. So I am going to ask that you all be patient. Um, this is very different for all of us, but she is definitely going to get all of those transfers uh, began and complete for you. All of DeKalb's registrars return to work this week and so um if you are transferring to a different school if you go to our school website and click on the section that says transfer i think it says um trans in district transfer school to school and complete that documentation and that'll go to miss brown and she'll be able to process your transfer for you our next question is coming from sandra the her question is will everyone have to register Yes, we are asking that everyone register. Make sure that your emails, phone numbers, and addresses are updated because that is our main mode of communication in addition to Class Dojo. Everyone will need to re-register. And that link is live on um, our website. Our next question is coming from Ashley Webb. Um, she says 10 to 15 minutes of instruction from the teacher. Will they have scheduled hours for assistance? Yes, we will have scheduled hours for support, and that is only 10 to 15 minutes for live instruction. Um, teachers will still be required to uh, provide um, assignments that may take longer. So just like the end of, I believe it was the end of our virtual learning last semester, we'll have a schedule, and that schedule is also in your parent package as well. Next question coming from Shanti Cadehart. She asks, has these, have the students from fifth grade, um, has their information been sent to the middle school and what else is needed for middle school registration? At this point, all of our fifth grade students are, uh, Cedar Grove Middle School is our feeder school. And so all of the fifth grade students have electronically moved over to the middle school. So I've been trying to help as many parents as possible, but we really don't have access to those students anymore in the system. Um, and so if you go to Cedar Grove Middle School's website, she has registration information there as well on what you all will need to do. And I'm sure that 
that um, in the near future, she'll be sending out information. Uh, but I will let her know that you all have questions about what your next steps are. But please go ahead and go on their website and um, look at how she's doing registration for incoming sixth graders. But they're, they're, electronically, your students are already over there. Our next question is coming from Linda Smith. She asks, when and where do I pick up my son's Chromebook? So once again, Chromebook schedules will be sent out via email. So please make sure your email is accurate. We will send out a Chromebook schedule. I will try my best to put that on Dojo as well. I can't promise you it's going to come out clean just because the way Dojo is set up. Um, but we will send out a, a, um, a schedule um, with that in your parent packet that you'll receive via email within the next day or two. It does have the dates and times uh, pending how many students that we have to get through that don't currently have devices. We will uh, schedule days according to grade level. And so that information will be in your parent packet. Our next question is coming from Sandra DeShazer. She asks, when will we know our child's teachers and will the students with IEPs in, um, be enrolled in Teen Talk classes that's a part of their IEP. Yes. So as far as knowing who your homeroom teacher is, um, those teachers will contact all of their students next week when they return. Teachers return Monday. So once they get um, access to all of their classes and get directives for how we'll do virtual learning, they'll begin contacting their parents next week. In addition, we will have open house next week as, as normal. Um, and then um, for our students who have special services, whether it be IEPs, 504s, um, and even our tier two and tier three students that are going through the process or receiving additional interventions, we are bound by law to continue to offer those services. So they will be receiving the same services they will receive if they were in the schoolhouse. So if your child is in a um, co-taught or interrelated classroom, they will have the opportunity to participate with both teachers. In addition, if your child is in a resource classroom, they also will receive modified instruction in that resource classroom. Thank you for that. Our next question is coming from Ms. Hendricks. Um, she said she just came in the chat, but she asked, um, are kids already registered and do they just need to update their information? Hi, Ms. Hendricks. Yes. So our current babies that have been with us, they've already rolled up to the next grade level. So all you need to do is go in and update the information on the registration form um, that is requested. And if once again, if you're on an affidavit, of course, you'll have to redo um, your affidavit information. But all of our students that were currently enrolled have already rolled up and um, are in their next grade level. But we do need everyone to re-register and pay close attention to your email address and your phone number. Ms. Prince, we have caught up with all of our questions so far. Okay. Um, and I accidentally closed my book on some things that I laid out. Some questions. I tried to look at all of the questions that you all have been sending me in Class Dojo to kind of address those. Um, so, yes, we have enough Chromebooks for all of our students. Um and so everyone will have access to a Chromebook if you don't have a Chromebook at home. Some some parents may opt to use their own Chromebook, but it would probably be a whole lot easier for you if you use a school-issued Chromebook, but we do have enough. Um, parents are asking me about paper packets. We are moving away from paper packets um, because we're providing Chromebooks for all of our students. And as we begin to prepare children to be 21st century leaders, learners, and adults, we want to go ahead and make sure they're online and starting to use some of these technological tools that are available to them for learning. Um, another question that was uh, a heavy question on Dojo was, is online learning mandatory. I know that last spring there was a lot of flexibility and leeway to whether or not your children, child could participate and them being able to get grades from prior to um, the COVID pandemic school closures. However, that is not the case this school year. All students are required to participate just as they are required to come to a brick and mortar once the school building opens. So please go ahead and start making plans. This is not an option. This school term, this is required for your student to receive, um, to receive credit for being in school in DeKalb County. So if if um, 
if you have not been making plans, please go ahead and start making those plans. Do I need to pause here, Danzo? Uh, no, no, you got okay. um, Carol Saunders just said hi, Miss Presley. Hi, how are you? Um, and so uh, one of the things that um, you'll find this time is a little more organized. For those of you that are just joining us, I'd like to say hello and welcome to the conversation. Um, one of the things that you'll hopefully you'll find this time is that things are a little more organized now that we've had time to kind of put this all together. Um, many of you were, I could feel the frustration and the anxiety um, rising as you all were just trying to get prepared. But just know that we do uh, have plans to help you get connected. Please don't fret. Um, the first week of school will be more about making sure everyone has their device, making sure everyone is online, making sure everyone has what they need to get started. Um, we're going to kick the school year off, hopefully with a couple of things that are fun for everyone um, before we go straight into instruction. And so please don't fret. We're going to get everyone situated um, and be helpful and, and provide the best customer service that we possibly can to our families to make sure that you have what you need. Um, as much as possible, if you have questions, anxieties, just shoot it to me in dojo. If I don't respond, just bear with me. I'm, I do try to respond to every single message that I receive. Some of you all that were messaging me within the last day or two, I did not respond because I knew that we were going to be in this in this forum. And so uh, I would be answering a lot of the same questions in this forum. And we'll do another town hall meeting um, probably right after the school year gets started so that you all can hear from me and be able to ask questions, your burning questions and get the information that you need. Um, but I'm, I am going to ask as your school principal to please be flexible with us and please be understanding and patient. Um, know that we want to do our very best, but this is definitely a learning opportunity for all of us. Um, and we are going to maximize our potential in every way from leadership all the way down to every student. So um, just be patient with us. We have some more questions coming. Okay. Um, from Akila Turner, how will attendance be taken? So I'm waiting on a little bit more clarity on attendance. What I can tell you about attendance right now, um, Ms. Turner, is that attendance is required. Um, and there's some conversation about whether we're doing it through class submit assignment submissions or if we're doing it through live um, video. Excuse me, live participation in the classrooms. And so as soon as I get a little bit more clarity on that, I'll provide that information to you. But I do know for sure that if your child is going to be absent, um, then you have to submit an absence um, excuse like you would if your child was going to be absent from school um, in the brick and mortar. But once I received a little bit more guidance, I wasn't clear on that. Um, I will definitely make sure that that is posted for you all by the first week of school. Our next question is from Carol Sonder. Um, you've addressed this earlier, but um, did you get any information for Cedar Grove? Um, what kind of information? I'm assuming it's in regards to the middle school. Or the, um, let me send her a reply. Okay. I'm not clear on that question. Or she could just clarify for me a little bit. And the next question is, um, can you please repeat the answer in regards to the requirements for Dojo? So for Dojo, um, the best thing I can tell you all for Class Dojo, for those of you who are on, they probably can give you five thumbs up. That is the quickest way for me to disseminate information to parents. And sometimes we may be information overload and a lot of parents say, I silence mine because y'all talk too much. <laughs> But we rather give you too much information than not enough. So the best thing I can do is tell you teachers will be setting up their new classes in Dojo. So right now I'm sending messages through the old classes. Um, but if you are not on Dojo, please, please, please make sure you're connected on Dojo. And please understand in Class Dojo, there is a class story and there is a school story. Nine times out of ten, I'm in your school story. If you've gone two or three days and you haven't seen anything come across your screen, there's something going on with your Dojo. Because we're typically putting up messages every two well, when we're in school, we're putting up stuff almost every day. Um, but since we've been out for the summer, we've just tried to pull it back a little bit. But now that we're gearing up to open school, you'll start seeing things post a little more often. But I'm typically posting on the school story. 
Sometimes I will post into your individual private messages, but 95% of the time I'm posting on the school story. So if you are not on Dojo, please, Dojo is your friend. Please get on Dojo and I will make sure that teachers provide Dojo information to you during your open house or during the first week of school. I believe the question earlier about Cedar Grove was how do the fifth graders register for sixth grade? So for the fifth graders that came from Oakview, you guys have already technically moved over. All of your electronic information is already over there and you all are Cedar Grove Saints at this time for sixth grade. We still have the hard copies of the files, but that will just be this week. We'll be sending those over as well. Um, and you can go into Cedar Grove's website to kind of see. Uh, she has her registration requirements listed on her website as well. So you can go there and see if she mentions uh, what is needed for sixth grade. But those students are officially Cedar Grove students. Um, in the system. Our next question is coming from Patrick Zoa. How can I access Class Dojo? I'm assuming it's, if it's for a parent who has never had access to Class Dojo. So for our parents that have never had access to Class Dojo, the first thing I'm going to tell you is to download the app and then your classroom teacher will send you uh, the information that you need, school code, class code, to be able to get into the class. All right, we are caught up in all of our questions so far. Okay. Um, the other thing I would suggest to each of you is to, if you have not already, um, and I don't know if Miss Wendy Jackson is still um, viewing, but we will definitely get information out to you. Please go into Infinite Campus and make sure that you um, have, have an account with Infinite Campus where you can check your child's grades um, and kind of follow along. That's another way for you to know if your child is staying up on their assignments um, is through Infinite Campus. And I believe I could be wrong. Don't quote me. I know it was this way a couple of years ago, um, but I could be wrong. Um, there was a way to also update your phone number and email in Infinite Campus, but I could be wrong. Please don't quote me. But there is a way to check your census information in Infinite Campus as well. Ms. Jackson is still with us in the chat. Awesome. So, Ms. Jackson, let's make sure that we create a document for um, how to log into Infinite Campus. And if you have that already created, if you'll shoot it to me, I can add that to our uh, parent pack that's going out on tomorrow. All right, Ms. Presley, our next question coming from Akila Turner. Um, another question for the working parents. Are we able to get assignments ahead of time so that we can work on it even if on the weekends? So what you will see this year that is very different is that every teacher will have their lesson plan posted. Um, and the teachers will also have their weekly I'll say plan posted by day, if you will. And so that'll be available in Verge. That'll also be available available in Clever. Um, and that will be updated every Friday. Um, and so that may be able to help you to stay abreast. But that is one thing that we're adding this year to help our parents and help our students stay organized and help our teachers stay organized. <laughs> we are currently caught up on all of our questions, Ms. Presley. Okay. Um, for those of you that are just joining, uh, because I put the wrong day, uh, wrong time in, uh, class dojo, please forgive me. Um, but we want to welcome you. Uh, I will kind of go back over a couple of things. Um, and those of you that have been on, I appreciate you, um, for staying and hit, stick it around and hear all the questions. Um, but we did offer a survey about, I guess it was about a month ago and a couple of things that have got it to work that um that you all mentioned again i appreciate um i appreciate you all for um for the kudos and the accolades for how well we did in switching over with such short notice um but there were some areas of improvement that we did attack um as a school and so one of the concerns that was offered was that you all um had concerns about the multiple platforms and you all had concerns about the children not receiving Chromebooks. And so this year, every child at Oakview Elementary School will receive a Chromebook. Um, parents just have to come and check it out. We ask that you make sure that all of your information is accurate when you come. This is also a time that you can bring proof of residency for your registration if you choose not to upload it in an email as requested on our website. 
Um, and the second thing is we are using everybody school wide is using the same platforms. So our instructional technology for all of our students is going to be USA Test Prep, which our students were um, our three through five students um, were able to uh, be introduced to a little bit last semester. Um, but we'll be doing that kindergarten through fifth grade. There are some different um, requirements for pre-K under Georgia pre-K rules. Um, and then we'll be using Verge as a as a docking place if you choose to check Verge. But the same information that we place in Verge will be placed in Clever or the lunch pad, which is where every child starts every day. And so that information will be there for you to view and for your children to view. Uh, and teachers will be required to update that page every Friday with um, what their plans are for the next week. Do I have any questions, Mr. Danzo? Uh, from Linda. How, once again, how does um, a parent get their parent package for the beginning of the school year? When is that scheduled? So the parent packets will be going out in email probably to sometime between tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, A, because uh, I wanted to go through tonight's session. Um, just in case there were a couple of things that I may have left out to share with you and listen to your questions. I want to make sure that your packet is complete and you have all of the information that you need. And so uh, it'll be going out either tomorrow or Wednesday via the email that is on file in Infinite Campus. Was, that, was there a two-part to that question? Was there a second part to that question? No, ma'am. Um, okay. Next question, Miss um, Ellison is asking, can you place on the school website instructions on how to log into Verge, Clever, Dojo, and Ethnic Campus? Yes. So um, we can place that on the school website. We have created a tab that says virtual learning, if I'm not mistaken, on our school website. So we definitely can place that on the website. Let me add that to my to-do list. Our next question, uh, Ms. Jackson was talking about the logistics of Infinite Campus. Um, a parent is, um, I was told I need an activation key for Infinite Campus, and Ms. Jackson was speaking about that also. So how do parents get their activation keys? You all will be able to get that from Ms. Jackson during okay. the school year. That is uh, confidential information, so we'll have a plan in place for parents to be able to access that um, from our parent liaison, Ms. Jackson. Can you go back, Mr. Danzo, uh, place directions on the school website? I got Verge. That's all I got. I'll come on into Verge, Clever, mm -hmm. Class Dojo, and Infinite Campus. I'm also going to do USA Test Pro. So I will say to you, if you log into Clever, which is where all of the students know Clever, because that's where they start anytime they log into our computers from the school. So all of our students um, who have been at Ope or any DeKalb County school know where to start in Clever. But we will put those, if, the, those um, directions on the website. Students will be able to access um, all of our links to these various websites from our Clever page. So we've tried to get with IT to make it easier for you. So if you can get to our Clever page, you should be able to get to all of our other pages. And so we're working with IT to get everything uploaded there. I hope I, I hope I answered that question. I believe so. Okay. Um, we have a kudos from Ms. Saunders. She's saying, God bless you all. Be safe and thank you for the information. Oh, you're welcome, Ms. Saunders. You're welcome. I know we have some parents who have been in contact with me asking how to log on. So I'm also trying to troubleshoot with them, but we're currently caught up with all of our questions. How to log on to? They're, they're, they can't access our um, feed at the moment. They might oh. Be on the oh, they may be on the face. Yeah, we realized in preparing for this that we have two Oak View pages. Um, and so anything that we do for this school year, it'll be this Oak View page. This will be our official Oak View Elementary School Facebook page. Um, we have another question from Ms. Shazier. Mm -hmm. Ms. Shazier, what time will school um, slash lessons begin? Um, since you asked, I pulled up this uh, you all's workbook. And so as it stands right now, um, you all will be starting school. So we have time set. We want our students to um, stay on a routine and so we have breakfast starting from 7.45 to 8.30, and that is breakfast at home with you. 
um, or their caregiver from 745 to 830 so they can start their day. From 830 to 845, we have a technology check, get your materials together and get logged in. And you'll see in the schedule that I share with you that we have a technology check between every single class to give children time to log out of one class and get into another class or regather materials and put things away um, between each class. So officially, our school day starts um, at 7.45 with breakfast. After our technology check, our school announcements start at 8.45. Morning announcements start at 8.45, and then we go from 8.45 until 1.50 every day. Uh, we have Dr. Davis giving some great advice for our parents. Um, she says that the Clever app can be downloaded to your mobile device for quick access for your student's learning platform. And she also says um, if you save this Oakview Facebook page and turn on notifications, um, notifications will stay at the top of all information. Absolutely wonderful. And we are currently caught up with all of our questions, Ms. Presley. Awesome. Um, going back... Uh, I know I've said it, I don't know how many times, but I, I can't stress it enough. It is absolutely important that in the virtual world, we have everybody's correct email address and cell phone number. Um, please understand that learning in the virtual setting for DeKalb County School District for the 2021 school term is mandatory. This is not optional. Um, and so we want to make sure all of our students have what they need to be successful um, we will spend our first week of school making sure everybody is logged in, have everything that they need, and that they can access all platforms. So please don't freak out on the first day of school if something goes wrong. Um, we even have a link this year for, for schoolhouse technology support so that we can have someone um, readily available to assist via email. So Please, we're trying very hard to make sure that you all have everything that you need. So what I'm going to ask of you is the same flexibility that you all are asking of us, that you extend that same grace. We're trying our best. And if there's an issue or you see there's somewhere that we could improve, shoot me a message on Dojo or on um, or via email. Dojo is the best way to get me. Um but shoot me a message on Dojo and um, where we can improve, we definitely will improve. We want to make this the best experience for not only our students, but for our parents and for our staff. And believe it or not, we have some staff members that are just as anxious. And so um, I want to make sure that everyone has what they need to be successful. Um, we're all at Oak. You're going to maximize our potential to be the best that we can be in this particular setting. Um, any questions before I go on? Um, Mr. Hines just wants to make sure the parents know that our open house will be virtual. So yes. just um, just extra information about that. Yes, so open house um, is virtual, as I stated before. It is, uh, if, I'm, if I'm correct, I believe it is next Wednesday. Um, and I can't find it in my notes, but I believe it's next Wednesday. But that'll also be in your parent pack um, as well. Um and you'll have an opportunity then to meet your teacher and we'll make sure that you have what you need um, to get um, in touch with your teachers. I have a parent that is messaging me on Dojo. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know if Mr. Wright is on Dojo or not. Um, I'll try to log in and I don't know if he's on here as well, but he's sending me some questions on dojo but i can't i can't see it um on here any other questions the next question um a parent asked um making sure does school start august 17th and how long will we be virtual school does start uh, does start august 17th for all students in DeKalb county school district at this time um uh superintendent cheryl watson harris has stated we will be virtual for the first nine weeks um, after those nine weeks, or I'm assuming before that time, she'll let us know whether or not we remain um, virtual for the remainder of first semester or if we will return to a hybrid or a face-to-face -face brick and mortar style. But that information will be shared, and I'm sure it will be depending on where we are with our COVID-19 uh, cases in the cab. Right, we are currently caught up. I will say I, got, I have a couple of parents I'm friends with on Facebook, okay. and I'm trying to share this. To them directly. 
Okay. But we are currently caught up with our questions. All right. Awesome. So I'm assuming that this is um, a good platform for us to kind of talk um, to you guys and to avail myself um, to you all to be able to answer your questions right on the spot. If this doesn't work, please shoot us in the comments um, suggestions. Um, but we're always trying to find ways to connect with our parents to make sure that we're available to answer as many questions as possible. Um and as quickly as possible. And so um, be looking in your emails in the next um, day or two. Um, definitely, what's today? Tuesday. So definitely by um, close of business on Thursday, um, you'll have um, your parent pack in your email. And again, that's going to come to the email address that we have in Infinite Campus on file for your babies. Our next question is coming from Miss Waters. You've already addressed this, but you already know what to expect. Uh, Miss Waters is asking, how do they receive laptops? So, uh, hey, Miss Waters, thank you for joining us. Um, we will, I'll be pro uh, providing a uh, parent pack, like I just mentioned, uh, via email to all parents that have the dates and times for your particular grade level um, to pick up your laptop. Uh, when you come, just be prepared. That's a great time for you to bring your proof of residency. And parents, if you have a bag or something to put the laptop in, that would be great too so you're not walking out. We do have some small bags, um, but just so you can have something a little more secure, we will not be providing a laptop bag for your child, but we will provide the Chromebook itself and the charger. We are currently caught up. Uh, one of the parents said... Uh, Thank you for the Facebook. It is a great platform. And she's saying we might have a, uh, we might not have as many parents due to the power outage in the neighborhood. Oh, I didn't think about the power outage. Okay. That sounds good. Um, but I will do this again probably next week uh, for pre planning uh, to answer any other burning questions parents may have after open house. Um, to make sure that everybody has what they need. And then I just, I may do it again the first week of school, just depending on what that looks like. We are currently caught up with all of our questions. All right. And so one of the questions that came on, um, class dojo in general, um, from a parent was how will teachers communicate once again, um, we we have a day built into our schedule for parent teacher conferences parent i parents i think it is a best practice for you to make sure that you're having weekly conversation with your teacher whether it be you request a, a virtual conference um so you'll you will need to familiarize yourself with microsoft teams or if you uh, just shoot a quick email or dojo check-in and, and check in on Infinite Campus. But I think it is imperative that um, you stay connected in this virtual world um, and understand it is virtual. So we, we're getting a lot of more than usual emails and more than usual dojo messages because we're not able to see you face to face. But teachers will still have a 24 hour turnaround time to get back to you. Um, and I am more than confident that the teachers at Ampera, professionals and support staff at Opie Elementary School will meet that challenge to get back with you in a timely fashion and answer your questions. But, you know, of course, if you have concerns, I'm always available um, and always willing to assist. Uh, we have some new parents coming in. Um, okay. So if you don't mind reminding us about pre-registration, I'm still curious about how does the registration process take place? So registration is completely online. If you have a current OPU student from that was with us from pre-K to fourth grade, that child has already been rolled up into their new school year. Uh, excuse me, at their new um, grade level, those students are preliminary registered with us. What I'm asking you to do is to go online and update your registration information just like you would um, during our you know, regular face-to-face -face brick and mortar model. Um, it is very important that you um, ensure that your email and your phone number is accurate because that's the only way that we can get in contact with you um, and through Class Dojo. Um, 
but that is a live link on our web page. And so if you go to our OVU, web, uh, OVU Elementary School web page and click on registration, you'll see multiple options, whether it be you're withdrawing or you're transferring or you're just a returning student needing the complete registration information uh, and where you can update or upload your um, proof of residency documents. And please make sure when you, if you do send, um, if you are going to upload your proof of residency documents that in the subject line, you put your child's name so that we can easily attach that information once Ms. Brown begins to kind of process those. She did return to work today. And so if you will be flexible, she's going to get all of that between Ms. Brown and Ms., uh, Mrs. Lundy. They will get all of your registration information updated and we'll start with withdrawals first so that you all can get to your new school and then we'll move forward with registration and making sure that all of our current students have updated information. Now we have a parent just asked how will you get the proof of residence? I'm assuming they're asking how will we receive it at the school building? So when you go onto the registration link, you'll see that there's an email address for you to upload it to. Um, and I don't want to call out the wrong email address, but there is an email address that is on the registration page for you to upload that information to. Um, and so we'll get your proof of residency that way. And if you give me a second, that email address is oakview3574 at gmail.com. Once again, it's oakview3574 at gmail.com. But again, if you click on the registration link, you'll be able to see that in um, on the registration page. I think, um, I guess maybe this is a logistics question. We might have to um, present this at a later time. But um, what, will there be a process for parents to receive their activation keys? I'm guessing that's a... That's the infinite campus question, yes. So I'll be working with Ms. Jackson, um, who is not officially at work yet. And so that's the other thing I need y'all to understand. Right now, it's just me um, and Mr. Hines and our secretaries that are back this week doing the work. And so once everybody is up next week, you may see things um you know, rolling a little bit faster. Uh, but when Miss Jackson arrives back to work next week, we'll start getting those activation keys out for those of you that don't have them already. There is information on the district website on how to apply for uh, an infinite campus parent portal. Thank you for that. And we are currently okay. caught up with all, all of her questions. Dr. Davis just wants to remind our parents once again, make sure we have updated numbers updated emails because that's going to be most important for communication this year. The other thing I want to remind parents is whatever we give you from the school, please know that we'll need that to be returned. Um, so the Chromebooks will have to be returned. Um, and if they're not returned, um, the district will charge you for them. And I think the price is somewhere around $300. Um, and so if something happens to the Chromebook or you need some type of tech support, please don't hesitate to reach out. We understand accidents happen. We are going to ask that you go overboard with helping your children uh, with being responsible, uh, digitally responsible. Um, but please understand that um, those those Chromebooks, somebody did have to pay for those. And so if you can help them with being digitally responsible, but understanding that once we come back into the brick and mortar, they will need to bring those Chromebooks back with them. We're going to provide the consumable workbooks that go along with our courses and we'll they'll need to bring those back if we come back into the brick and mortar as well to, to continue with class. So please make sure that we are providing a safe place for them, a quiet place for them at home, but also an opportunity and a place and having the expectation that they keep up with all of their school materials and school supplies because that stuff will need to come back to the school for us to continue learning if we come back into the brick and mortar. All right, we are currently caught up um, with all of our questions. I have a question for you, Ms. Presley. Yes. Um, how do you feel the transition has been for Oakview? or DeKalb County as a whole, um, and what are you looking forward to with this new adventure? Well, you know, as a as an individual, I'm always looking for ways to learn and expand. And I always say maximize your potential. And I don't say that to be cliche. I'm always looking for ways to grow and expand. So I honestly feel like being in a virtual setting um, 
has helped me personally and professionally to just hone hone in on what's important sometimes and and get away from the frill and the fluff is also causing me to think more strategically um and so i try to apply that in every facet not just personally but also professionally um and as i'm making sure that our school is ready um just thinking strategically what do parents need to know strategically what do stu what do students need strategically what do teachers need and all the extra fluff that's not necessary um just removing that um one of the things that i know that we'll definitely need to hone in on is our social emotional for our children and our parents and making sure that everybody's just okay uh, we are blessed that many of our our family from oakview is still intact there are a lot of schools who lost family members um and just from what I know, we have not firsthand lost anyone. All of our teachers, all of our staff are returning. Everyone is alive and well. Um, and that, for me, is a blessing. Um, and so I think in that regard, we have done well as a school. Um, I think as a school, we've done well with communicating what we know um, and asking parents to be patient with what we don't know. Um, and I would hope that we're gaining the parents' confidence to know as soon as we know information, we will get that information out to them and that we'll support um, our efforts as much as possible and so, uh, or help your students to be as successful as possible. And that does include making sure our parents have what they need. So parents, this is not a time for us to really be detached. This is a great opportunity for the home and school to love each other even more. Um, I'm always open for opportunities to have conversations for what we do well. And a lot of times we hone on what what's, what works and I mean, what doesn't work and how the school isn't good and what the school didn't do. But this is a great time. Everybody likes to hear what they did well. But we also want to take those opportunities that we didn't do well and grow from those and be better. Um, and so those are just some of the things I think about Oakview. I think for DeKalb, um, DeKalb is in a very peculiar place. Um, it was, I can only imagine how difficult it is um, for our leadership to continue in this vein um, as we transition from one great superintendent to another great superintendent. And so, um, you know, I think under the circumstances, we've done a great job as a district um, and I'm looking for us to be even greater. Uh, and Oak, we will definitely, we proudly own that we're a part of DeKalb County. And I just think every day is a, a, another day to be great. No one's perfect, and we're just all trying to be better every day and stay alive. <laughs> well spoken, Ms. Presley. Well spoken. We have another question uh, from Ms. Turner. How do we get our child's student number to qualify for the $250 food card? So it's not going to be your student number. It's going to be the student's GTID number. So if you have a report card, if you look on your student's report card, you'll see, a, I believe it's like nine or 10 digits long. Um, look for that. And it's up in the top part, the demographical part, across from the address right before the grade start. You'll see the GTID number. If you don't see it, um, then shoot me a message on Dojo, and I've been trying to get those out as well. So um, if you don't see it on a report card or you don't have a report card, shoot me your child or your children's names, and I'll get that information to you out as soon as I can. I try to get it out within 24 hours. We are currently caught up with our questions, but I do want to give you some kudos. Okay. Coming from your um, fellow, your, your, your teachers and your parents. Uh, oh, Ms. awesome. Ellison, saying great job. Oh, thank you, Thank you, Mr. Turner. Good job, Ms. Presley. Um, Ms. M. Perry, we appreciate Ms. Presley's leadership. Dr. Davis said earlier, you are a digital leader. Um, Ms. King Cross saying yes, indeed. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, y'all. We're going to do this together. Um, I appreciate the staff that have allowed me to call them all throughout the summer when they were off, staff members who just allowed me to pick their brains, staff members that have proofread things for me. Just um, I've got friends that <laughs> I send information to and say, does this make sense if you're not a, a parent at Oakview so that it makes sense to everybody? So, you know, we're, we're just always trying to um, be better and, and just know at Oakview, we're not there just to get a check. We truly love your children and we want every child to be successful. 
um, and whatever we can do to support every family that is assigned to us, we're going to do that at OBU. We don't take our um, job or profession um, lightly at all. Um, Ms. Duckworth, she provided some advice for our parents. She says any Dollar Tree storage container works well to help students stay organized at home. She says choose a set place for your child to store materials. We can do this. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And so once again, um, I'll let you know, parents, that first day logistics will be available to you um, before the first day of school. I'm not going to give you a date because then I have to be bound to that date. But as things are progressing and more information is becoming available, um, we are tweaking and making sure that we are meeting the guidelines that are put in place by the district. Um, so just bear with us. Just know, um, if not before next week uh you'll have everything you need before the first week of school but it is absolutely imperative that you make sure that your email addresses on are, are on file and that they are updated and we may even ask you for information more than once but that's just our attempt to make sure that everybody um is connected as much as possible um and understanding that everyone needs to be connected the entire time um the entire nine weeks we don't know what will happen after the first nine weeks but we want to make sure that our children aren't lost as they say lost in the sauce but our children aren't lost um in all of this students can learn digitally um i don't know how many of you have earned online degrees or have been in school online it is possible um, so this is not far-fetched. It's just different for all of public schools to be this way, but it is possible. Um, and so we're going to keep the learning going and we definitely don't want your child to miss out. We're going to have even more support than we've ever had before with most of our focus being on reading and mathematics. This is a wonderful opportunity with um, there being a waiver in place for um testing accountability this is a great opportunity for us to really be able to drill and get into the weaknesses of our students and so parents i'm going to ask you um, with everything in me please make sure your children are connected um, as much as possible and they're actually actively engaged with what's going on in class um, so that we can help them our babies that need additional support we have wonderful paraprofessionals on staff that will be connected and providing supportive instruction and um, some of those small group settings for those students to kind of hone in on some of the weaknesses that they have to keep them um, growing in this time so let's just all stay connected and, and available to one another um, either to Help them grow from where where everybody's going to grow from where they are. But we're going to take all of our babies and move them up. That's the whole plan. So help us by staying connected, um, good, bad, or indifferent. We're going to all grow together and grow together. Um, Ms. Presley, we are currently caught up on our questions. But I have another question for you. Uh, so since we're going to be virtual, the DJ Super Crunk in me wants to know how <laughs> are we going to still celebrate and how are we still going to show that hope you love that we're used to? So what, what is your vision in regards for us to, you know, socialize and come together again. Well, Dan, though, I must say, DJ Super Crunk got rave reviews for our virtual parties. And so we'll continue doing our virtual parties and some other things. Um, we're just kind of playing around with some ideas. I don't want um, our new virtual norm and celebrations to become boring for the kids. So always looking for different things. So we'll be doing some different things. I'm waiting for teachers to get in next week to kind of bounce some ideas for how we can keep our kids engaged and keep our parents motivated. But, uh, we'll, we will be doing something to celebrate our kids and our parents. You know what? Let me say this. Parents, please don't do your kids work. I know that may be a little tempting. I know sometimes that may be a little tempting when they're really aggravating you asking questions. But please allow them and force them to go through the productive struggle that it takes to arrive at new knowledge. Um, please don't do their work for them just so that they can get a grade. This time is about more than just getting a grade. This time is about really growing um, and providing that opportunity for productive struggle for our children. So please don't do your child's work for them just because we can't see you. <laughs> it is currently 502. We are caught up with all of our questions, Ms. Presley. Awesome. Um, so awesome. We have a lot of kudos from other teachers and parents. Um, what else do we have? Kudos from Ms. Duckworth. She says, You rock, Ms. Presley. You're getting a lot of um, smiley faces and laughs and thumbs up. Um, 
But we're caught up, Miss Presley. All right, so let me just go back one more time. Um, we are moving away from packets. Um, so we want to make sure all of our students have access to a laptop. And parents, if you can provide opportunity for them to have Wi-Fi uh, access, um, that would be great. Some of you have cell phones where if you don't have home internet, you can actually use your cell phone as a hotspot. Whatever you need to do um, to make sure that the children have internet access. I know McDonald's has free Wi-Fi sometimes. Um, and so that's always an option as well. But please make sure that you are connecting in. We are moving away um, from us um, providing packets. And let me explain why. I had a parent that didn't quite agree with my thinking on moving away from packets. Um, A, I don't believe that the packets um, are providing our children what we need. Um, and having children and teachers split like that, children that are receiving packets aren't receiving as much support as they would need. That's A. Um, B, I also think that with children having packets is the easy way for, it looks like busy work. And this is not an opportunity for busy work. This is an opportunity for our children to continue learning. We're not just trying to provide busy work. And I am strongly um, going against any um, assignments that are uploaded just for busy work. We want to make sure our children are engaged in learning their current grade level standards. Um, and then the other thing, there's a safety issue with packets. Um, you know, we are still supposed to be sheltering in place as much as possible. And so someone has to run all of those packets off. Um, and a lot of times those mass runnings caused a lot of technology issues with our printer. Um, and some of you um, weren't loving me enough to offer the grace that was needed when we were waiting on toner to come in. Um, and so that's an issue, but also receiving those back in a timely fashion and children not being able to get the feedback that they need to continue to grow. And so the packets are really just turning into busy work and it presents a safety issue for me um, and the few staff members that were willing to come up to get those packets back from everybody's household. Um, and unfortunately, we did have some families that had COVID. Um, and when I'm receiving all those packets, then I'm also ingesting all of those germs. And so um, just for safety reasons, we want to move forward to everybody being online and everybody um, just trying to connect. It's safer for you, but I also want to stay safe for me and my family and my children as well. And we want to make sure that children are getting the help that they need and we're not just providing them busy work to say that they were in school because that's not what... That's not what packets do. And so if you'll help us by getting a Chromebook and staying engaged online, I think we can make this work. We do have another question, Ms. Presley. Um, how will um, the, the parents know the teachers? What will the so, protocol for that be? So we will um, next week when teachers arrive, they'll be given their rosters and they'll begin making phone calls and reaching out to parents to introduce themselves. Um, we'll also have open houses we have done in uh, years past in the brick and mortar. So just um, stay tuned for that. You'll get a phone call or something from a teacher next week to introduce themselves. And they'll have all of their information for how you'll connect with them on Microsoft Teams. We are currently caught up with all of our questions. Okay. And then the other thing, and Ms. Davis, please jump into the chat if I'm wrong. When your child logs into Clever, they are in their teacher's homeroom. So that's another way to know when your child logs into Clever, if I'm not mistaken, they're a part of that teacher's homeroom class. And so from logging into the computer and going into the lunch pad, they'll know who their teacher is. Am I correct with that, Ms. Davis? Well, currently, like you're about maybe 10 seconds ahead of the feed. Oh, okay. So okay. She says you are correct. She okay. Said yes to me. Okay. So that is another way to know your child's homeroom teacher once you receive your Chromebook. We are caught up with all of our questions, Ms. Presley. Do you have another question for me, Mr. Danzo? <laughs> <laughs> um, my question for you now is with this 2020, 2021 school year, I know it's not starting off the way we wanted to start off. But what is your goal? What will be your criteria for success, at least with these first nine weeks, this first semester? 
So all of our students will take a diagnostic when they start the school year. All of our students will take a diagnostic um, in a USA test prep. So USA test prep will be where I'm watching the data for um, and monitoring student growth. I'll be watching in USA test prep. I'll also be watching in Imagine Learning um, since those are non-negotiables. So um, when they take their diagnostic, the first, the end of the first week, beginning of the second week of school, I'll be watching um, how they're growing, going throughout that um, platform and teachers providing direct instruction, um, the progress monitoring piece from all of our support staff. And so I'll still be monitoring instruction just as we did before. We'll still be doing classroom observations and going into classrooms to see the kids and participating in lessons and being um there to provide support to our teachers. So that part won't won't change at all. And our counselors will also be available for our students um, that need social and emotional support and providing counseling sessions um, to every grade level every week. Thank you for that. Ms. Jennings is asking, um, will this um, live feed, are we gonna save it so that we can share it with other parents? Yes, it will be saved right here on this Oakview Facebook page. And we have another parent asking, um, will we be having another? <laughs> so um, my thought process is to have another town hall um, at least once a week, these first two or three weeks. So this is be our first one. I'm definitely going to try to have another one next week as we prepare for Chromebook deployment. Um, and then have another one that first week of school, maybe right after open house um, to tackle any additional questions that parents may have after you've gotten information and um, you've uh, had a chance to meet teachers. So any school wide questions you may have, I want to avail myself to answer those. And then during the first week of school, we'll probably have another one, just an opportunity for parents to ask questions and for somebody on our staff to be available to answer those questions. And I'm going, to, I'm going to throw my two cents in. Um, so for the parents who can hear me, since we're going digital, we need the community support. So please share this. So once this live feed is over with, please share this in your timeline. I'm sure you're connected to other parents. They're going to see it. Um, we also have an Instagram page, um, OU underscore the cat. Make sure you're connected to that. So not only are we on Dojo, we're on Facebook and Instagram, and we need you all to keep sharing, spreading the word. Keep this in your timeline just so we get more people connected because we got big things coming this school year. Awesome. Thank you, Danzo. We can do all that we're doing, but if we don't have parents connected, it'll be for naught. So we, we can't be great without you. Um, so please, please, please make sure that you're connected in every way, every way possible. Uh, we have another parent. Um, once again, please remind them about the open house. We don't have the official date at the moment. The open house is next. If I'm not mistaken, it is next Wednesday. Um, let me, I don't, I don't have my calendar in here with me. Um, but if you have another question, go to that question and I will try to look for it while I have. Give me one and second. We have, uh, we have a late comer. She's asking, um, are the kids auto enrolled into the next grade level? So if your child was with us um, last school year, then your child has automatically rolled up to the next school, uh, to the next grade level. Um, but we're just asking parents to go ahead and go on our website. Excuse me, go on our website and re and register for this school year as you would if we were in the brick and mortar. We are currently caught up. Ms. Ellison is asking people to share on Nextdoor. So for my parents, um, Nextdoor is an app on your phone that communicates, um, lets people in the same neighborhood communicate to one another. Um, I recommend you do it even beyond overview. If something is happening in the neighborhood, whether good or bad, people are posting it. So it's better than Facebook because it's people who live right next door to you. So anytime we have a digital event, don't be afraid to share the word on um, your next door app. Thank you, Miss Lovett. Thank you. We are currently mm -hmm. caught up with our questions. Okay, I'm trying to find the date for open house. Give me one second. It's in my notes somewhere on this computer. Um, I just have notes everywhere. So give me a second. 
I think it's next Wednesday, though. If I'm not mistaken, it is next Wednesday. I know for sure it's next week. And I believe it's next Wednesday. For some reason, that date rings a bell. Um, While you're doing that, I want to thank everybody for coming in. Ms. Presley, we have peaked at 41 people in attendance for our first virtual town hall meeting. Okay, and that's more awesome. more than the average PTA meeting. That is more than PTA. That is awesome. That so I want to thank awesome. everyone for um, joining us this afternoon, especially on such short notice. I believe the flyer went out on Saturday afternoon. Yes, it did. It so for did. a 48-hour turnaround, Thank you all. Um, we, uh, like Ms. Presley said before, we will be doing this again. Once you find out, like we asked before, please share this on your feed because other parents are connected to you. So even if those parents aren't connected to where we need them to be, at least they might be connected to you. So the more you share, the more digitally this word will spread. And I cannot find the open house date only because you all asked me for it. If you all hadn't <laughs> asked me for it, I would have it readily available. <laughs> but I cannot find the open house date. But I promise you, I will put it in your parent pack that you will receive via email within the next 48 hours. Um, I promise you, I make you a solemn promise that open house will be posted there and it will, you know, we'll, we make a flyer for everything. So I'm sure Mr. Danza will also make an open house flyer for you all. Um, but I'm almost a hundred percent positive that it is next Wednesday. Um, you know, Oh wait, I know where it is. Um, I know exactly where it is. Thank you, Lord. Um, I just gotta find it. I guess, matter of fact, Miss Presley, while you're doing that, um, I'm going to pose a question to, to the chat room. Um, my question to everyone is, and you don't have to say your political affiliation, but are you ready for the kids to go back to school, or are you happy that they're still going to be doing school virtually? So we're just taking this third minute while Miss Presley is searching. You don't have to say who you with, who you voting for, mask, no mask. <laughs> Are you excited about the virtual, or would you rather them be in the brick and mortar? And whatever decision you make, I've been seeing some Facebook posts saying that no one should judge you either way. Because some parents need the kids to go back to school because of work. Who's going to watch the kids? And some parents are really cautious about this um, COVID, and they want to make sure kids are safe no matter what. So while we're waiting in the chat, please respond. You're excited about virtual, or are you kind of sad about virtual? You're rather be um, maybe back in the building. I see both. Got some responses. And while they're responding, I found my open house information. I was trying to kill time. <laughs> so how I forgot this, I don't know. But we'll be doing, I guess it'll be more like a town hall to some degree. Next Wednesday, I'm doing the first part of open house, myself and Miss Jackson. I don't know if she's still on here. She just learned that just now. Um, and then the second part, teachers will be doing um, their open house next Thursday. Do you have a time for the Wednesday, Ms. Presley? Um, I do not have a time, but it will be pre-recorded, so it will be up for parents to have on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We got some, <laughs> we got some responses. We got somebody said both. Somebody said virtual for safety reasons. <laughs> All right. So... So, yeah, so you'll have open house information. School-wide information will come out on Wednesday from myself and Ms. Jackson. And um, teacher-specific information where you have an opportunity to go into the virtual classroom, meet the teacher, talk about those kinds of expectations on Thursday. So you got Wednesday for school-wide information, Thursday for teacher-specific information. Ms. Jennings posted something kind of powerful. Um, she said she's neutral. Our hope is that all the students' needs are addressed academically and mentally, but we will be here for students and parents. And we have another parent, Ms. Turner, said that her team has been virtual for three years, 
She's in the medical field, so she's up close and personal to COVID, but she's thankful that our baby's safety is our number one concern. It is. It is. All right, time five seventeen, Miss Presley. We have answered all questions. All right. Well, I'm I'm here to hang out. If anybody comes up with anything, and I'm I'm open. I love to have some suggestions from parents or staff members on some possible uh, celebration or meetings or parents. I love for you to tell me some things that you need from us in this setting um, that will help you. Whether it be you know how to how to do something online, how to whatever if if there's anything that you need this is a great time for you to tell us so we can start planning that as well um but just know that we did hear you when we when we sent out our survey results and, and much of the uh, all the comments that you made i read every single survey um result and so the information that was given back to us we did use that to plan and go forward so hopefully this year will be a lot smoother for you um i think once we get through the anxiety and the you know the rush of first days of school um which you thought would have gone away since we were virtual but the first day of school rush and anxiety is still here um but i think once we get past these next two weeks we'll be good um, and hopefully you all will uh, feel a little more at ease with how we are and where we are. But listen, I know that we have people who are in the medical field. We have parents that have to work and have some really extenuating circumstances. Miss Jennings and Miss Perry will still be there to support you. Um, Dr. Anderson, our school social worker, will still be there to support you. And we've got some support staff that will be assigned to do uh, check-ins on our babies. So please, if you need something, don't hesitate to let us know. Please don't let pride stop you from getting what you need. If there's something we can do to support you uh, during this time, we definitely will do that. So please let us know. Please don't sit at home and struggle um with anything um again if we we have staff we have we're been, we've been blessed with some really good staff so if you if you have issues or or have some concerns let us know um please make sure that you're able once again all of the supplies that i suggested to you are all at the dollar tree um i checked myself just to make sure um so please stop by the dollar tree when you can um and get the supplies that you need uh, for Ms. your Preston, children. We have a question from Ms. Duckworth. Absolutely. Great question. Has the district released information on how lunch will be served this year? The district has not released information um, that is public for lunch um, at this time, but as soon as information has been released on how we can help um, take care of the nutritional needs for our students, we will let you know. In addition, um, for our, same is true for our Atlanta Community Food Bank um, monthly, um, um, my mind just went blank, um, food, the food that we do once a month. Um, we'll be providing some information on that as well, but those kinds of questions are still up in the air right now. And we are still caught up with all of our questions. Okay. If you haven't already reserved your Chromebook, if you if you don't mind just jumping over on that link, I think it's somewhere in the chat, um, so that just we can get a kind of head count on how many Chromebooks we need to prepare. And we'll also have dates and times for you to come by grade level as well for you to uh, get those Chromebooks. And please make sure whatever we send home with you, that that's, uh, you make sure that that comes back to the school when we return or at the end of the school year um, when we are ending for the summer. Please make sure you will get a schedule in your parent email pack. Please make sure that you're following the schedule for your child. If your child has intervention, intervention set at a certain time, please make sure that you have your child there ready and available. Uh, please make sure that you are staying connected with your teachers and support staff at least once a week. I wouldn't let two weeks go by and you haven't made contact with the teacher, checked in Infinite Campus, checked on everything to make sure that your children are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, in this virtual world, it's going to it's going to take a little bit more. And, and I didn't realize that <laughs> until we went virtual, but it definitely takes a lot more effort in a virtual setting um, because we don't have the opportunity to talk face to face. So please make sure that you're connected in every possible way. Um, 
with your child's teacher and with um, just schooling, just Oakview in general to know what's going on. And when we have celebrations, please allow your child to attend. We don't want this to be boring for them as much as possible. We want to celebrate, have fun, but we also got to take care of the main thing, which is making sure our children are educated and ready for what's, what's to come. Anything else, Danzo? Uh, we have caught up with all of our questions. Ms. Houston says, hope all is well with everyone, and she's praying for an awesome year. Absolutely. Me as well, Miss Houston. Definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. This was a great way to address questions and concerns. And faculty and staff, I know you guys have questions that are beyond anything I could ever address in this forum. So just know that many of your questions will be answered in the PL that's taking place this week. So I hope you've registered for that. Not registered, but I hope you plan to attend that. Um, many of them will be addressed Wednesday morning in the main session, um, with me. And then on Monday, when we return, excuse me, on yeah, Monday and Tuesday, when we return for pre-planning, we'll also, uh, I'll also answer many, many more of your questions. So, um, you all just hold tight, enjoy your week, um, try not to stress out, but I promise you, we're trying to make everything as simple and, uh, easy for you as possible. You um, spoke on this earlier, but I forgot the answer. A parent asked, how does their child log into Clever? So Clever is um, actually where they go. All the children who have used Chromebooks at Oakview um, will be able to, they, they know how to get there because it's the first thing that they see when they log into their Google. But um, we will put, I'll put the directions up on um I'll put the directions up on the school website for you guys to log into Clever. Clever, But trust me, your students, if they were at Oakview last year, they know how to get to Clever because that's the way that you access everything for the district. The students access everything for the district. And I think it's 525. This might be our last question. Um, a parent is asking, how can they go about getting their student a tutor? So is this a tutor to... I'm like, assuming to reinforce things taught after the virtual learning is done if they're trying to do something outside of the 9 to 1 p.m hours so tutoring is private um i try not to endorse tutors um just for legal reasons i try not to endorse one tutor over a different one um during the scheduled school day we will um make sure that children that need additional support have that additional support through some of our small group sessions. So if your child is struggling and you feel like they need more individualized attention, um, then definitely reach out to your teacher and we can make sure that we provide supports through the school. Um, and we may be offering some tutoring, what we would have considered after school tutoring. Um, we'll be offering some opportunities throughout this nine week course. But if you're talking about private tutoring, I try not to endorse private tutoring for, for legal reasons. Um, but I definitely know that there are some teachers out there who are willing to um, offer private services. Right. But just know that a teacher that currently serves your child is not able to legally tutor your child for pay. Dr. Davis gave a, um, advice. She says... Um, a QR code badge can be scanned for their students to log into Clever. And she mentioned students know how to log into Clever using their student number and the same password. But the time is 526, and we have caught up with all of our questions, Ms. Presley. All right, you guys got me for four more minutes. Any more yeah. questions? <laughs> and I probably won't be live before next Wednesday's open house. But those of you that are on Dojo and our current parents, you know that you can always email me or message me on Class Dojo, and I try my best to respond as quickly as possible, at least within the within 24 hours. Um, I will be live next Wednesday for the uh, school-wide portion of the orientation, and then that link will be available um, for those that may miss that opportunity for, for various reasons. But that's it. Um, I'm going to say the time is 527. Ms. Presley, uh, on behalf of the staff at Oakview, um, we appreciate this platform. Oh, so we have one more question. One more question. They got in at the last minute. Um, Kanai Williams wants to know, will she be able to do band practice? Is, uh, is Kanai going to the fifth grade? 
So I'm assuming you mean band practice with Mr. Um, why the band teacher's name escaped my mind? <laughs> Thank you. I'm assuming you mean band practice with Mr. Brock, which would be like one of your classes. If that's what you're talking about, can I then? Yes, you will still be able to access those band classes that you all had in the spring with Mr. Brock. All right. That was our last question. So on behalf of the staff at OQ Elementary, Ms. Presley, we appreciate this opportunity. Um, I'm not going to lie. This felt a little bit better than sitting in the cafeteria. <laughs> I don't know why. I just did. Well, I um, hope it was beneficial for everybody. And Mr. Danza, I appreciate you for helping me out. And uh, yes. all the staff members who joined uh, for support, I appreciate you guys too. Parents, I appreciate you for logging in. I hope I answered all of your questions. If I didn't, please feel free to send me an email or shoot me a message on Class Dojo, and I will support you then. Um, please be looking. Uh, you probably won't get your parent pay until probably Thursday, but definitely within the next 24, uh, 24 to 48 hours, you'll begin your parent pay that is full of information, um, some of which will be reiterated of what was said today. All right. All right. Time is 28, Ms. Presley. I think I'm going to call it quits two minutes early if we don't have um anything else i think that's it i appreciate you all so much everyone please have a great night continue to stay safe all right that's it make sure you log off all the way miss presley yes sir <laughs>